I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, Ephesians 1.16. Giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. Psalm 50.23. It says, if you keep to my path, if we order always aright with God, he will reveal his salvation to us. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. That's hard to rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances when you're hurting or you're in pain and you're grieving and brokenhearted. But it says, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We do these things because we know God is faithful, He's true, and He'll bring us through every storms of life, every hurt, pain, um, traumas, drama, He'll bring us through it. So this is why we are called to rejoice always, pray continually, unceasingly, nonstop, giving thanks in all circumstances. That is uh, definitely motivational, inspirational, and challenging, and convicting. Give thanks as you enter the gates of his temple. Give praises as you enter its courtyards. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 104. Yes, we give thanks to him. We don't wait until we have the breakthrough or the healing. You know, we give him thanks and praises because he's worthy and he does not change and he will come through. He's always working out for our own good, for his purpose and glory whether we feel it, know it, see it or not. So this is why we should never cease to give him praises, thanksgiving, singing through the storms. Amen. Dear God, you are so good. Thank you for this. Thank you for my friends and family. Help me to give you thanks in all I do and say. You are the reason for all the blessings in my life. What can you thank God for right now? I have so many things to thank God for right now. Ethan just left my car and got on that bus and he thanked me right as we were pulling up here. He's like, mom, thank you for driving me to the bus stop. And then this morning, he's like, thank you mom for cooking me breakfast. So I am so thankful for my sons. They live in peace. They dwell in peace and security. They have gentle hearts they're they've never really given me like you know troubles and issues yes we go through normal siblings stuff you know sometimes they did um especially Jaden and Micah for two years or so um Jaden was fussing and picking on his little brother Micah because he didn't understand and he, you know he did that out of his own hurt and pain because Micah was getting all the attention since Micah had medical issues and so he needed extra care extra attention extra everything so Jaden was feeling like he was being left out at times because uh, Micah was high maintenance but other than that oh my goodness my boys have been such children of peace and I've said a hundred times that um you know they just have the peace of God about them and when I take them places when they were little or even now they're like the most quiet quiet gentle kind disposition children Ethan is my uh, happiest joyful loudest one but Micah and Jaden, you won't really hear from them much. They just have a peaceful disposition, tender-hearted, merciful, compassionate. And since it's Mother's Day weekend, I'm rambling on what I'm most thankful for. I'm thankful for my sons. I'm thankful for the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who created my sons, who died and redeemed my sons, who gave my sons to me. So... I'm super thankful for each and every one of you guys that are my friends that prays for me and my family these years. 
I love you all. May the Lord bless you. And if you are a woman, a mama, happy, happy Mother's Day weekend. Give him praise. I love you guys. Bye.